So in this video, I want to do a super raw, super uncut breakdown of what you need to know when it comes to the upcoming Facebook and iOS 14 updates, what you need to do as a business owner, what you need to do as someone who cares about marketing and making more money, getting more influence and making more impact. Um, I'm just going to break it all down, starting with a few house cleaning things that you need to make sure that are done um, as soon as possible. So you'll probably see you or your marketer will see a ton of warning signs in this resource center and all this stuff. I'm just going to keep it super, super simple for you guys. So when you hop in your ads manager, the first thing that you're going to want to do is over here on the left hand side, hop into business settings, and you're going to want to make sure you do a few things. First things first is verifying your domain. You do that by going to brand safety and domains, whatever your domain host is, if it's GoDaddy, um, you know, it's super easy to verify your domain. They literally walk you through the entire process. Um, so just be sure you go through and do that. Um, you pretty much go into GoDaddy, paste the code into GoDaddy, and then back into Facebook, and you're done. It's super simple to do, very easy, and it's one of the first things that I really recommend you do. Second is hop into data sources, go to your pixels. You or your marketer can do this. And what you want to do from here is open it up in events manager and you're going to want to set up aggregated event tracking pretty much what that looks like is you're going to go you know to whatever pixels on your website if you're tracking purchases if you're tracking leads whatever go here configure those web events um you know once you're this is why you have to have your domain verified once that's good you're going to go ahead and manage these events and what you're going to do is you're going to add an event choose your pixel and choose an event. So for example, lead, and you know, you want to put on what priority you really want that to be at, and you're going to click submit. Yes, you understand the changes, apply it, and you'll be good to go. It'll take a day or two to make those changes um, happen. So that's the main house cleaning stuff that you really need to make sure you do. If you want to set up things like conversion APIs and stuff like that, that can be useful as well, but I'm not going to go through too much more of that other stuff because you can find help docs on that all over Facebook and figure things out there on what you need to do. I want to talk about a few other things that you can do um, that are really, really valuable um, across the board. And I'm going to pull a lot of stuff from Wicked Reports, which is a company that I use to track all of my data for myself and a lot of my clients. Wicked Reports is super, super useful. I'm going to put a ton of links below in the description. They have quizzes, they have resources, they have help docs, they have a solution to all this. And I want you guys to have access to all that. Um, so, you know, if you want to go ahead and use Wicked Reports, feel free to use my link below as well, because you'll get a thousand bucks off and who doesn't like money off. And um, yeah, so here, here's pretty much why Wicked is going to solve everything. And here's what everything looks like. I just threw this together really quick based off of some of Wicked's reports and presentations. Like I said, I'll link everything below so you can get a much deeper dive, but I'm kind of pulling from the stuff that is really important and that I think is just base level, high level stuff that you guys should all know. So here's exactly what's happening um, with iOS 14. So Justin goes into Facebook on his phone. He's in iOS 14 and he sees this, allow Facebook to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. Then they'll either ask the app not to track or they'll allow it. This is similar to what things will look like, um, but it, it's probably gonna change, but we don't know. So pretty much he sees this, Justin's horrified. He clicks no, I don't wanna get it to track me. Then he's on Facebook scrolling. He sees an ad for lobster, the last holiday, last minute holiday gift for lobster. He goes to the website, he buys some awesome lobster. Then, you know, that data gets pushed into Facebook, but, you know, Justin bought that. So the pixel, all that stuff is being tracked on Facebook. You set up this stuff like I told you to with the aggregated events and all that good stuff. Um, so the data from the website, because Justin bought this lobster, gets pushed into Facebook, but they have to ignore this data. Facebook needs to ignore the data because Justin asked not to track. He has to ignore it. But the company GetMain Lobster is using Wicked Reports or something similar and they can track down the campaign, ad set, and ad, and identify Justin one way or another. They can figure out where he came from, what ad he clicked on, and all that good stuff, which is extremely important to know. Um, pretty much this whole Wicked Reports is going to solve this, and whether you use Wicked Reports or something else, I'd recommend Wicked because I use it all the time. Um, this is going to solve that issue. 
depends on kind of what your objective is. If you're generating leads on Facebook, that's fine. Because the big thing that everything is switching to, and I'll give you guys just the big overarching stuff here, is put a landing page in front of your offer. Once again, these examples are off from Wicked, but put a landing page in front of your offer. Offer something of value, give them a discount, give them a coupon, give them something so you can capture their email. And so you're giving them value in return. You're like, hey, you know, do you want this stuff? Do you want these bonuses? You know, if you sign up for VIP access by popping in your email here, you'll be able to get access to this buy six, get six free. Once they do that, it'll redirect them to the exact same product offer where they can buy, you know, the six lobster tails. And from there, you can, you know, send all your traffic to this page where you're getting their information. And then you're sending them over to this page where they can buy the product service, become a lead and all that stuff. And that's really important because the reason why is you need, everything's going back to lead gen. And I've used lead gen for a while, but a lot of people aren't realizing this. Use lead gen based on Facebook, use it on you know your website and you can track all that stuff. When, when you're giving value to someone, when you're giving them an offer and they willingly enter their email, you can track that. You have that data, you have that information because you're using it for yourself, you're using it for your business, you're using it to help more people and give value to more people. That's why it's totally fine as long as you're generating a lead, you can then track that and put it to use and get value out of it. So, you know, just some game plan here, you know, take your product page, make or have someone make a really simple landing page lead capture with an offered redirect to the product page. You want to track that customer lifetime value because you, you can now track that. Then do an email campaign. You know, if that person put in their email, but they didn't buy, send an email to them saying, hey, you know, you missed out on this. You know what? We want to give you a buy seven, get seven instead of buy six, get six, whatever. Once I, like I said, do lead gen on Facebook and Google. Then just measure your ROI, scale the winners, kill the losers, and chill with the rest of them. And that's really all you're going to do. That's the big shift. I really don't want to make this super complicated or super long-winded. But at the end of the day, if you set up lead gen campaigns, you have something like Wicked where you can track all of this data in one spot and it's totally fine, legal, and easy to do, and it's really affordable, that's what I'd recommend you do. That's the biggest thing that you need to do as a marketer, as marketing for your company, whether you do it a ton, whether you do it a little. If you wanna be successful in this space, have something like Wicked Reports that can track all your data for you and give you some real clarity so you're not flying blind, and set up some kind of lead capture page where you give them value, where you give them access, where you frame it in a way that, that's really positive so you can capture their data and then you can give them what they're asking for down the road and you can track everything as well. So there's a few other things in here that I'm not really gonna touch on big time because I just wanna keep this super, super simple. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you do this house cleaning stuff with the aggregated events, verifying your domain. That stuff's easy though. That stuff, you know, no matter whether you do it or not, it may help a little bit, but above all, I mean, we've seen that over 50% of people are going to click this. No, I don't want to be tracked. So if you don't have something like wicked reports on your side, especially if you're driving people, you know, if you're driving people direct to this page to buy lobster and someone buys it, you're not going to be able to figure out where that came from and what to do from that. If you have a lead gen stuff directly on Facebook, for the most part, you'll be good, especially if you're a realtor. But even then, there's so many other avenues where people can find you. And it's important to figure out where they're coming from so you can put your focus, put your energy and have your singularity of focus be on the traffic source where you're getting customers coming in. So with that being said, um, there are some more resources here um, on Wicked Reports. So I'll be sure I drop a ton of stuff um, down below. Let me see if I have any, any stuff here. Yeah, they have a whole survival guide, everything that they need to do, everything that you need to do. Um, I'm going to link all this stuff down below because like I said, I don't want to really make this, uh, you know, long winded. So that's the case. Um, I'm going to put everything down here. I'll put my link where you can get wicked. If you have questions for me, feel free to just comment below, shoot me out an email commenting below or, or reaching out to me on Instagram would probably be best. At the end of the day, like I said, I, I want to keep this super, super simple. Um, where is this now? Drive them to a lead magnet, get them to your product page, implement wicked reports, implement some kind of tracking, make sure you're giving a lot of value to the people that you're helping and that you're working with. 
and everything else will sort itself out. There's a lot of chaos going on right now, but in the chaos, you got to see opportunity because there's a ton of opportunity here. Um, I'll maybe make a few follow-up videos on this on, you know, how I've already been implementing it for a lot of the people I work with. But like I said, I want to keep this short and sweet. So if you guys have any questions for me, reach out to me on Instagram. Um, feel free to check out all the resources down below. If you want to sign up for Wicked, you can do that below as well. Talk soon. Check out some of my other videos for some more tips on advertising, making a ton of money and increasing your income, impact and influence. And I'll see you guys soon.